because they've never been in the situation, but they will always say, never talk about other people in your conversations with elite. Sometimes you just have no choice. Obviously, you specifically got into some, some drama with some of the some of your fellow contestants. There was stuff with Kelsey and pills and alcohol. And I know you've kind of spoken on that a little bit and it wasn't your intention to ever be accusing her of anything. And you were kind of repeating something you heard. Mm -hmm. Looking back, do you regret getting involved in any of that at all? Or do you think it could have been navigated differently with anything that played out with you and Kelsey specifically? I mean, of course I have regrets for that. I never wanted to like hurt anybody or, you know, let alone accuse them of something that I have no knowledge of them as a person about. Um, I think it just happened to be like this mix up of everything and it just got out of hand. And I wish that it didn't happen whatsoever. But I almost wonder like, would I have had lasted as long as I did if I wasn't in the drama, you know? Right. Because remember, like before COVID hit and everything, girls like me don't make it far on the show. And that's very well known. Yeah. So it's, it's a balance also of kind of getting involved, getting in the mix and then the risk of what, how it's going to air or how it's going to look. And in the right. moment, are you thinking that at all? Like if I get involved in this, will it, will it air this way? Will it look this way? Or are you just like caught up in it because it's happening and things are moving pieces and you're on this show and there's lights and cameras and producers and oh my God. I think when it got to that hecticness, I just, I wasn't even thinking about like post-production stuff. Cause I'm like, I need to deal with this like right now. I don't even know what to do at this point. I was so yeah. caught in a hard, what is it? A hard place and a rock. A rock and a hard place, yeah. A rock and a hard place. I'm like, what am I, what is the right thing to do here? Cause like, if I just admit it and get everyone to shut up, now I'm the bad guy, but I didn't truly do it. But it's like, if I don't, then people are just gonna accuse me of doing it anyways and it's gonna be just elongated, you know? So there was no winning in that situation whatsoever. But I've apologized to Kelsey many times. We've talked about it. Clearly on Paradise, we, you know, worked things out and became cahoots with each other to take down another person. But <laughs> yes. um, I think just the high stress of the show, it's a lot on people and people forget that we're real humans that are dealing with this stuff in our real time. And then we have to rewatch it again, a way that it is edited that we have no control over. So it, it was just very difficult going through that. You know, um, I felt like I was really battling the world by myself because no one, like it was very hard for people to reach out to me because they didn't want to be involved with the villain. And like, I don't know, I just, it was a very lonely and dark time in my life. But I think I don't regret it whatsoever. It made me a very strong person. So like now I don't even care what people say, which is a plus, but it just, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody because it, it sucked really badly. Yeah, I can imagine. And it was some of the Victoria P stuff and you've kind of said, and you're not the first, first person who said this by any means, but you know, production plays a favorite. They've got a storyline to go. You've mentioned her name. And when you're filming that show, do you realize in the moment Oh, this girl is like, they got, they really like her. You know, you mentioned pe people like you didn't make it far on the show in the past. Are you thinking that in the moment? Are you worried about how it's going to, how that's going to happen? Or with someone like Victoria P, you're like, oh, they, they don't care. They're going to make sure she goes in. Or is that something you realize now in retrospect, as you've kind of been talking about this and thinking about it? It kind of solidifies it watching back, you know, but I, I knew it going in. I like for the entire time where we're quarantined, even before like actual COVID, we would have to stay in the hotel before filming. I That was my biggest concern. I'm like, how am I supposed to compete with these girls when they're probably all blonde and all white, you know, and I can't ever change that about myself. That's not who I am, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I am proud of being an Asian person so much now, um, but it just puts in retrospect, like you can just tell who they favorite and it, I wasn't one of them. Yeah. It just must be a hard thing to like wrap because it's like they put you on the show and it's supposed to be like an even playing field and there is partly Peter's feelings, but it's also partly like, what is the show looking for? And it's probably a lot of things. Um, they make you feel really special. I'm sure. When you're going through the whole process until you meet everyone. Like night one, I remember, I'm like, oh, this is how it's gonna go. Like, I, I'm not gonna stand any chance unless I do it my damn self. So I do, I did it my damn self. <laughs> and you definitely stood out and there was like so, I remember you were especially kind of like a polarizing figure because you were like the humor and then it quickly switched to be like, oh, are we not supposed to like her? Oh, it was so crazy that episode. Cause it was Costa Rica, literally yeah. in half of an episode, everyone went from loving me, all these flood comments of like, you're so funny, you're so, you know, everything and then switch. I hate you, go kill yourself. Like you suck, you, like I hope you die. Like it was such a roller coaster, like tornado effect of emotions. Um, and you know, when you get on this stuff, like you want people to like you, that's just a normal instinct. But 
I just didn't expect it to be that magnitude. I knew I was going to get some slack for, you know, what happened because of the way it looks, but never the magnitude that I, that it actually did. So. Yeah. And people are layered and complex and you can be funny one minute and then maybe put your foot in your mouth another minute, but it is kind of hard to remember that because it's like, you're watching a reality show, but it's, it's produced. It's, it's so, it's so complex, but it's also fun just, and you can be on Twitter and say something funny without saying something insane. Like that's right. the difference. Exactly. My tweets are hilarious when I recap <laughs> the show, I think, but it's like, yeah. people are going to be why is she, why is she being so mean? It's just like, we're all very multidimensional creatures, humans, you know, like I'm not going to be a perfect, funny, nice person all the time. Like it's not normal to be that way. Right. I'm going to get angry at some point. I'm going to get upset at some point, you know, and I'm not going to get along with everybody because that would be very bizarre and fake for everyone to get along with everyone every second of the day. Someone's going to irk you at some point. Like even, my, I mean, look at your sisters or like your brothers, you know, your own family, they're going to bother you at some point, but you love them, you know, and it's because like, you're going to have a moment like we all do. And you're gonna lash out, do some regretful things. And as long as you acknowledge that and use that to change, you know, how you react to future situations, I think that's what's more important. Yeah. You got to go on um, a two on one, which is a fun bachelor tradition. <laughs> I wouldn't even consider it a real two on one. It was right before the yeah, It was like a one. meet outside. Yeah. I was like, we're gonna meet before everyone else shows up, two on one. But that. <laughs> <laughs> that night was just so funny because like I'm just like what I was so sick of it at the point I'm like what is going on you know I really did not think I was going home because I had lots of proof to give to him right like, hard concrete proof he just yeah. didn't believe me or maybe he did but again I'm not a favorite so uh, they're like all right it's time for her to go you know you I mean you did do the potential move with with McKenna of the not here for the right reasons and sometimes that works really well mm -hmm. and sometimes it's the it's the kiss of death and the bachelor won't even hear it and they're like you know or for the audience too cuz some people they're like yeah like you're the hero you tell them that that girl's not great or they're like how dare you use your time to talk about someone else like again you can't win. especially like re like other cast members cuz they've never been in the situation but they will always say never talk about other people in your conversations with elite sometimes you just have no choice okay right. i'm going to say that right now because i mean what goes on in the house is his experience too with the whole show or her experience on the bachelorette you know so i I think if you have a concern about someone, cause it's like, how could you like this person if they're so opposite of me? It's like, which one do you, which one are you gravitating towards more, you know? Yeah. And also sometimes, even if you're not the one to bring it up, the lead finds out and then they are probably told they got to ask. So then you're answering a question and then it could look exactly. like, oh, I'm using my, my time, my two minutes. Right. It, there's, it's never what it looks like probably. Um, were you surprised that McKenna ended up getting sent home right after you anyway? No. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Um, I hope the girl the best, I really do. I just, again, people, not everyone's just gonna get along. I just know that her time was very short coming because she, I, in my opinion, she wasn't there for the right reasons, you know? We all wanna find love. I think that's that's a given why we went on the show in the first place, but what you use with your time there, it's like, even I explained in previous podcasts, like she was always in front of the cameras, you know? And people are people on Reddit are gonna be like, she keeps talking about McKenna, but it's like, you guys are asking me this. I'm answering a, a question. Like, I don't talk about her outside of- Why are you on Reddit, Reddit, Tammy? Get off Reddit. <laughs> Listen, I do this to myself because I'm like, I'm dep I'm getting more depressed and I'm crying my eyes out because I'm going on Reddit. I'm like, Reddit is not a nice place. So Why am I there? Because they hate me no matter what, but they hate everybody. Right. But they also want the answer to these questions. Right. So, exactly. yeah. So I'm giving them the answer and they're like, stop talking, like, let it, let it die. It's like, but I'm being interviewed these questions. It'd be weird if I was like, kept bringing it up in casual conversations. Right. I get that. But like. I literally forgot this girl existed until people bring it up. Right. You go on Instagram live and you're like, who wants to talk about McKenna? Like, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like my world doesn't revolve around her. I have literally six jobs. I have three businesses. I have too much going on to worry about another person. Yeah. No, I know. But I asked. So thank you for answering. Thank you. So see, Sarah, everyone, Reddit, Sarah Come asked for me. Your question. Come for no, Sarah. Don't, please don't. Please don't. I'm scared of Reddit too, but I won't read it. So it's fine. <laughs>